In AutoCAD 2010, you can easily define blocks with preset sizes using the new block table functionality. This I-beam block has already been defined with block constraints. Viewing the block definition, you can see the existing dimensional parameter constraints. The block table functionality enables you to add those parameters as properties. You can drag and drop columns to rearrange their order in the table. Manually enter appropriate values for the part or copy them from a tab delimited file or an Excel spreadsheet. Pasting them into the block properties table enables you to save time and reduce errors. The block table is displayed as an icon in the block editor. You can change its location using typical AutoCAD editing tools. When you test the block reference, the block table values are accessible from a lookup icon making it easy to select from standard sizes. The lookup menu also provides access to the properties table where you can look up values, sort on any of the columns, and select the appropriate option. Grip editing this particular block would enable you to override the preset options with custom values. If you don't want that flexibility, an option in the block properties table enables you to ensure that block properties match a row in the table. Testing the block reference again, you can see that the grips are no longer displayed, requiring you to conform to the preset options. You can control how the user interacts with the block reference based on the order of the data in the block table. For example, instead of displaying size as the first column, you might want to display first the height and then the width. Testing the block, you can see the user must first select a height. If there are multiple options with the same height, the user can then select the width. 